Thank you so much, Diana. Well, on stage in Western New York this week, a classic musical celebrates its 70th anniversary at the Lancaster Opera House. Now, we have artistic director David Bond Rowe here, as well as Michael Niederer. All the way at the end, he plays Curly, one of the lead characters, and Emily Yancey, who plays Laurie, also the other lead character, in their production of Oklahoma. We just sat down, David, and you already had glowing reviews of the two lead roles. One coming from New Jersey, one local from here at Canisius. Talk to me about our uh, actors. Well, the, these two have stunning voices, and Oklahoma at its heart is a love story. And you have Curly, the cowboy who's coming on the farm, and he wants to date Lori, and she won't have it. <laughs> and it's all about whether they're going to get together and whether they're going to treat each other like kids or whether they're going to grow up and fall in love. And who doesn't love that story? I mean, it's a great musical. I, like I said, I think I watched it almost every day as a kid. Emily, tell us some of the most well-known songs from Oklahoma. Oh, well, the duet that we do, people will say we're in love. It's, it's like a love song, but it starts out, it's all just a front. We're trying to pretend that we don't love each other, and it's just so much fun to act out because there's just a double meaning to everything. It's so much fun. Now, Michael, what can people expect from this performance when they go there and see Oklahoma? Well, there's a little bit of everything in there. You're going to laugh. You're going to cry. There's a huge ballet, actually, at the end of Act One. There's a, a lot of, actually, there's a couple fights in it, and I get to take part in those, which are a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's really a lot for everyone. Um, you know, definitely, like I said, you're going to laugh. You're going to cry. And uh, it's, it's very exciting, and it's, it's, a, it's a big, big deal because it was the first musical to really integrate music into the story. Um, and now all the musicals that you see today do that. Before it was really, you know, let's do these big song and dance numbers mm -hmm. that had nothing to do with the story. And okay. now Oklahoma, really, it's all about how the music is advancing very the story of the show. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, David, give us more information, the times, dates. You have a fabulous... Um, I guess promotion you could say going on this weekend Absolutely. with the production. The, the production runs March 1st through the 17th. Okay. We have three weekends, Friday and Saturday nights at 7.30, Sunday matinees at 2.30. Mm -hmm. And Oklahoma first opened in 1943. Okay. And uh, right you know the height of World War II and they invited all of the soldiers before they went to Europe to see the show for free Wonderful. and in honor of that tradition our opening weekend we have extended uh, uh, an invitation to all the branches of the military and we're inviting active duty service men and women to come and see the show as our guests that sounds absolutely fabulous I highly recommend going and seeing the musical Oklahoma like you said it is an absolute classic best of luck guys with your production of the show Michael Emma David, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. And we look forward to chatting with you next time with the next production of the Lancaster Opera House, whatever you guys put on. Awesome. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Okay, we're going to send things over to Diana now.